San Antonio has lost a man described as the city's best cheerleader in the tech industry, a magnet. His name was Alan Weinkrantz, and he is one of the legendary minds behind Geekdom, a company that has broken the mold on tech startups. Now the company he helped to build is celebrating his life in a special way. Geekdom may be known for having a sort of different vibe, but this is different. It's sad over the loss of Alan Weinkrantz in a freak car crash in Tel Aviv, Israel. There's pride here too, though, and more than a few smiles. Alan Weinkrantz was El Presidente of Alan Weinkrantz and Company, but I think he should also been entitled International Smuggler of Authentic Culture. Yes, Alan Weinkrantz was famous, and his fellow founders at Geekdom say San Antonio owes this friendly, innovative techie a great deal. He was the kind of guy that was, you know, wearing tennis shoes and, and listening to like today's music and the Beatles on the same day. And so high energy and knew more about social media than, than every 20 and 30 year old in here. That energy and knowledge not only helped the company grow, he linked it up to others internationally and then put an unknown San Antonio quite literally on the tech grid. He not only was he a consummate collaborator, but I think that he was San Antonio's brand ambassador in chief for our innovation and knowledge economy. Just love, you know, our love back to him the same way he loved the city and he promoted the city the same way he loved geekdom and really took care of all of us, you know, with an open door policy. As a monument to Alan's life here at Geekdom, this room is going to become a conference room completely remade, exactly like his office, that anyone can use. The continuation of a quaint tradition where anyone could squat in his office while he was hitting the pavement for tech business. If you didn't see him on Houston Street, downtown, or in Israel wearing a Geekdom shirt, he was selling it, selling it, selling it. Now, on Monday, the tech community will come together and celebrate his life. It'll be held uh, at the Paper Tiger. It's on North St. Mary Street on Thursday at 8 p.m. Everyone's invited. And in keeping with his favorite music, a Beatles tribute band will be performing afterward. He was 63. What a loss for our community.